few people who have uh, contacted me who have bought some of my files and they just want a little bit of advice on how to bring them into software like Lightburn and then, and then cut the files and ar arrange the different layers. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I've took files like this, uh, which you can buy on Etsy. Some people bought from me, some people just bought files from elsewhere or even free files. So we're going to jump into Lightburn now and I'll show you how you can turn a design into something like this. Let's get to it. So I've just jumped into Lightburn and I'm going to show you how to bring the SVG design into Lightburn and then how to arrange the SVG design in Lightburn so that you can cut it out on your uh, laser machine, no matter what laser machine you have. So the first thing we need to do is import the file that you have. So I'm going to go to File, in the top menu, Import, and then I'm going to find the file. Now, now on my machine, when I've downloaded it, it obviously goes to Downloads and it may be a zip folder. If it's a zip folder like this, you'll need to unzip the folder and then you'll be able to go into the folder and choose the file. So I'm gonna to go to Valentine's Rose with Stan's SVG. So it's the SVG version uh, which you need and which I usually use. So I'm gonna bring that in now. So you can see I brought in the Rose design. Now what we've got here is we've got one design here, another design here, another design, another design. So we've got four designs and the difference with these designs is just a heart that goes on top. You've got love, XOXO, just a heart, and then you've got a frilly heart here. We've also got some bases here for the designs, three different bases. So for this, I'm going to choose to do this rose here. So we're going to be cutting this rose. So I'm just going to move that out of the way for a minute. I'm going to, so I've got three bases here on the bottom left. I'm going to choose the heart base for this example. So I'm going to bring that in here. And I'm just going to get the rest of these roses and stands. I'm going to move them out of the way. We don't need them now. So what we have here is the roses. Now, the first thing to know is when it comes in the, into the design from SVG, it's usually not grouped. Now, what I mean by this is if I was to select this rose and move it, I'm just selecting a part of the rows. That's not what we want to do. Obviously, we're moving the rows. So I'm going to do a control Z and that will go back to how it was. So what you need to do is you need to group the whole thing together. So now I'll just let you in with a little tip here. If you scroll from left to right like this, it will capture everything that is within the box. So it won't capture the love heart because the entire thing was not was not in the box, if you know what I mean. The box only came to here, so it didn't get this part of the love art. So it's actually only selected that rose, which is fine for us. So we're going to move that. Now, to make it easier to move about in future, so, so that we can easily get grab any part of the rose and not have to worry about it coming apart, at the top here, we have group. Now, the three little heads means it'll group everything selected together. So if you click anywhere on that design, it will move the whole lot that's been selected. So I'll just give you an example. I've just pressed it now. So this rows here is now all grouped together as one item. So no matter where I click on the rows, it will highlight it all. So then we've got this rows, which can be cut. Uh, I'll do the same here because I know that these two sections here that get cut out are not going to be attached to this to this actual so you can see it's gone all the way around but it hasn't included these so you need to select this all again now just a moment ago i said if you scroll from left to right it'll only capture everything that is within the box if you scroll from right to left because I, I need to get all these bits within the love word there as long as it's touching the the design you can see the box here it's touching all these words and, and it's touching the heart it will highlight the lot so that's if you scroll from right to left and again top right here i'm going to click on the three little heads and group it together so i can move it about so the reason i actually did that was so i could move that out of the way and it made it easier for me to now highlight the whole of this layer here which is the back layer including these little cutouts here and I'm going to group them together. Now, these are all grouped ready to be cut. So I could just quickly line these individual layers up on my work bed. So we've got love there, 
I'm going to put you I could put that there and then these stands and I could put them there now this would now be uh, this would now be ready to cut now on my machine I use red for cut and I use blue for score so in Lightburn I've set my settings so that the red layer which is here and you can change a layer if say for example you've got your cutting layer as blue if you just select it and down here if you just select the blue layer it will change it to blue but mine's red isn't it so I'm gonna select it red so it's red again you can see on my machine I've got my settings to 220 speed millimeters a minute and 90% power and that's what I use to cut through 3mm plywood or 3mm MDF I do four passes with that score I use 1200 millimeters a minute in speed and 90 power and that scores it scores areas that need to be marked now the issue I think a lot of people sometimes have is when a design comes in the whole design is grouped like the, the whole lot is grouped like it, it's, it's like this so if I just give you an example if I highlight all that quite often the design will come in you'll import it in and you'll be like it's all stuck together I can't I can't do anything I can't just select this rows you know to, to move to cut so what you need to do if you highlight it all and you click the single head at the top that means ungroup it will ungroup it and depending on which layers were grouped in the actual design you may need to actually uh, you can see I can separate that now and these are all separated too but like I said if you've got something that you need to group together you've got this heart here but it isn't all grouped together but you need to move that heart you scroll from left to right it will select everything it, that that green light that green line touches so you can see if I wanted to move that now I can move it get a bit off topic here let's get back to the design so that's what you do so you've got the red layer which I have as cut and blue is score and you'll see that that's all highlighted so I'm going to ungroup with the single head here just to show you this so if I get this this layer is still all grouped together you'll see that this this would be the second layer now if you zoom in you'll be able to get it perfectly and you'll see that it fits absolutely perfectly in there so that would be your next layer and you can see for your third layer you can see that that would fit on the blue score mark and it would fit in perfectly so I'm just going to pull this out again now one last thing you'll need to take into account is the thickness of your material and the size of this gap here now I've used in my designs I use 3mm MDF or 3mm birch plywood so the stem is made up of two layers so that's going to be 6mm in total now uh, the material thickness is not usually what it's marked as so if it says 3mm quite often when I've checked my uh, thickness of the actual material with a calipers that's what I use I use calipers they're uh, a worthy investment you can just check how thick your material is so you can get these size these holes absolutely perfect but quite often it's like 3.18 mil something like that instead of 3 mil or less or a little bit more so so you need to get the, the thickness of your material so it is roughly the same as the height of the height of this hole here for example this slot now the best way to do this so for example I'm going to give you an example now so this isn't actually all together so I'm going to scroll from left to right so it captures this whole heart I'm just going to move that out of the way for a second just to show you this so what I would do you could try cutting this out and this out as it is and and it might fit uh, perfectly the chances are it might not quite be as tight as you'd like when it slots in so I'm going to imagine that my material was actually perfectly uh, 3 mil or it was just under 3 mil uh, it never is but let, let, let's just say for the example it is so this heart here is not is not grouped so if it was grouped it would be like this you'd click on it and, and you couldn't change anything so again if you just select all of the heart and click the, the little single head in the center that will ungroup it 
you can select each individual layer in this stand. So I'm going to change the center hole of this from 6.4 mil because my wood was a little bit thicker. It was like 6.18. So that, that, that's why that isn't six exactly, but I'm going to change it to six. So now I've just changed this, the height of this to, to uh, six mil. Now the problem is on this second base here, it's not six mil now. And I want to make sure that that hole is in the exact same position so that everything lines up. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete that layer and then we're going to make a new layer out of this. So this is a, another reason I have the score marks on the design so that people can do this. So to produce, so this heart is, uh, is actually the uh, bottom layer and we need a top layer as well. So what we're going to do is I've obviously just changed the height of that so that it fits my material. So I'm going to click on the center. I'm going to click command. You it might be a control on a PC, but I, I work on a Mac, so I command and then I'm going to select the two layers together. And then I'm simply going to copy it, command C for me, it might be control C for you if you're on a, on a, a normal Microsoft computer, something like that. And then I'm going to paste it. So now I've got this layer here, which was the score mark for where the second layer is going to be. And I've still got my center hole, which is six mil. You can see here it's six mil. So it's the exact same size as that. The only thing we need to do now is this blue line on my computer means it's going to score it, isn't going to cut it. So all we need to do is we select the whole design and we the bottom layers where you can choose your, your layer color, I'm going to make that red. So now this layer is going to cut out that. Now it isn't grouped together. So to make sure we don't move it accidentally, I'm going to highlight the whole thing again. Top of the screen here, you've got the three heads that means group so I'm going to click that and now no matter where I click on that it's grouped I'm going to do the same with this because this isn't grouped together so I'm going to highlight it all and I'm going to group now this just means it doesn't uh, distort when I move it uh, there's uh, the layers are all attached I can easily move it without having to worry about parts of the design uh, being detached uh, that's about it really you need to work out what speed and power you need to cut so that you can double click and you can insert your speed and your power and the same for scoring. I hope this has been helpful. It's gone a bit long winded but I want to try and get as much information into this video to help people who, who have bought some of my designs. So if you have purchased designs, uh, thank you very much. If you haven't, this video is on YouTube. So I will put a link in the description so you can you can see me Etsy shop, you can see some of my files. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope this video was helpful.